good. Dennis, do you uh, do you think we got the old Highway Nine situation handled? Just gonna keep an eye on it. No. Yeah, Kenny said that they're sending up more guys today. There'll be several more in the area. I think everybody has to learn the true haul route before we can make that judge. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if we needed to send one of your employees down there to the Corning and have a sign there. They got to sign up now. You know, that says no windmill traffic or something, but right. Uh, I didn't know. I mean, just so we're being proactive. As far as I know, there is signs up down there now. There is, is there? Yeah, there is going on west now too. Okay. okay. Um, hey, I've got one more Go thing here too. I think we've talked about and decided that we're going to create a new fund for all the money going through for next arrow, either mm -hmm. money deposited or money being spent. Um, so, uh, Dennis, I will probably need you guys to put together a list of all the things you've ordered and paid for um, that's that's been for the wind farm. Okay. And Those then three bridges. If, you, if you've already paid for that, what we'll do is do a transfer so that the, that money gets credited back to Red and Bridge and then taken out of the special fund. And then when we actually build a barricade, there'll be labor and everything involved in that too. Which you'll go to this fund, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But for now on, let's just pay everything and deposit everything into this fund. Into this one fund. And I'll I'll let you know I need to create it. I'll let you know okay. what number that's gonna be. And that's that hundred and sixty five thousand dollars for those three bridges. Right. Okay. Very good. So if Kathy could um, give us that information, then I'll I'll let you know what fund number we're going to use, and then you can go ahead and pull go forward from there. Uh, what you've already spent out of that, if right. you wanted to. Okay. We haven't got an updated haul route or anything. No, I talked to them Friday that this week we should get one. I uh, was down there yesterday with with our the debris coming away from the trash coming away from the the lay down yard and looked at both of those roll offs and i could see another problem arising dennis uh dennis henry suggested those taking that stuff to uh where up, up in nebraska we're opening stake there you know when they got that mix load and stuff dennis that's actually Tom Goodenkoff's deal, though, Dennis, and I can't tell him where to take and dump his stuff. Oh, has he contracted with them? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just Blackner themselves. No. And Gary, I think he knows that Tom had a dumpster down there. Yeah. The one now they got a couple dumpsters down there now, and they try to keep that stuff separated. Well, right, but but I looked in both of them yesterday. And I could see C and D. One of them looked to appear to be trash only. The other one did not. Had both. Had C and D and trash. You can see that may not even come to us. That may go on. Well, maybe. I'm just wondering. Uh, uh, yeah. You want me to call Tom Dennis and, and visit with him? If you want to call anybody, call Blattner or Scary and tell them to get it straightened out. <laughs> well, that they're ultimately the yes. Yeah. Who would I call there? I um, had to go through DJ in order to get to him. I made the call once. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I would think if Tom's got the contract with him, he would be able to control it. Right. You know, I mean, either that or just he didn't leave him sat there. Yeah. You know, I mean, but uh, uh, that would be, but we can't take him at our dump that way. We're not set up that way, are we? No. It has to be sorted out there. Okay, so so in other words, we could just tell Tom, but can he take it up here? We're opening don't opening do a bunch of that in Seneca that they just take straight to Pawnee or someplace? I don't know. Seemed to me like it when they get a mixed load, you know, like from a house tear down or whatever, that they they go north to Nebraska because we don't accept that. 
that makes loads. Mm -hmm. Opening's good. I don't know. Okay. I see. You don't know that the Tom could go up there. Is what you're saying? I don't know that that's his choice, Gary. I mean, yeah, his business where he wants to dump. And the last time I talked to him, he was talking Brown County. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's coming back to us. You knew that. Yeah, um, I do know that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, see what happens. I guess. Okay. All righty, Dennis. We'll talk to you next week. All right. Thanks. See you, Dennis. Dennis. Have a good week. Okay, I'm going to get a hold of Shane. He was... Never asked him how Jay rode and told him up. Now you go turn bike. Oh, I don't know either. I didn't, I didn't come up. I come up. North of nine this morning. So who do you end up talking to when Blatter when you have your meetings? No, is there usually it's just Sean from next door there. They don't have a Blatter representative because he they oversee those guys. Um, but no. The first week there was. The yeah. first week there was one of them from Blattner there that day. So it's up that Sean is the one that, that. So did you read out the. If they use the non. Didn't we have a two week deal in there? Um, a week and then seven gimmies. A week or seven to give No, well, no. The first week, I think, was just kind of to get things. The first week started or like last week where they had 20 trucks. Yeah, I mean, that's, ours are not that's past the. That's past the. I know, there'll be seven of those, though, that you could consider as I call mulligans or. Yeah. After that, though. So possibly stay on the right routes. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we're. Uh, I've been in contact with them. We'll see where that all goes. Um, shame. Because we're going to have a conference call here with everybody pretty directly on it. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to use one, so I need to do nine first. Nine. Uh -huh. Nine, one, seven, eight, five, or whatever it happens to be. Hello, this is Shane. Hi, Shane. This is Tim in the commission desk. Hi, Tim. How are you today? I'm good. Can you hear me okay where I'm at? I think so. I'm going to turn you wide open because I've heard some complaints about your, your not being able to come through. Let's try it now. How's things going? Well, the roads are good. <laughs> Good. Um, I just uh, I'm came up in delivered poles over at the very, very south end of the, the uh, county last night, mm -hmm. yesterday and last night. Mm -hmm. I just came over to look at that and came across the, the landowner who was pretty upset. So okay. I've been listening to him for quite a while and, and ultimately he thanked me for listening. And, but I was like, you've already got contact information to in visited with some mm -hmm. other sort of people. Okay. So Gary is his name, that's all I can tell you. Uh, he didn't want to give his last name, but just didn't. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. Um, so, everything else, I know it rains, you know, and, but the roads are holding up halfway decent. The rain, the roads are actually holding up very well, but it rains super hard the other day. I was driving them, and everything from the drains down the road isn't a road in your home. Uh, and for the most part, there's some probably areas that are passing today. Um, and did a whole bunch actually yesterday. That's in that some areas. Um, but uh, it's, everything was stable. Uh, 24 an hour, and it was very, very good. Um, the places that they're needing to work, they're working. Okay. So. Good. I know Kenny said they're going to bring a couple more people up this way. And 
help monitor to make sure they stay on the right routes and stuff. Yep. Yeah, I've got some people on the way today on a two extra, and they'll be here this week. And you know, I'm just trying to put a team in place to make sure that we got people where we need them. Okay. I was a little bit Sean this Gary. I was on the the road leads to the uh, the concrete plant. That was, I guess, that was one area especially where you could tell it was a wet spot. And let me see. We're talking in the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from the highway there. They're running off of nine, just south of nine. Yes, just off okay. south of nine. Yeah, I guess I, I will show you. I will go look at that. I haven't been down that road. I just had time to stay out of the way. They're running down so much these last few days. Mm -hmm. I haven't been on it in a couple of days. But uh, I'll go look at that. I guess I was a little bit. That that whole thing needs reshaped. Okay. And I guess. Now. Yeah, I mean, it just. They're putting the rock out in the gate. The, Ditches and everywhere. They're just yeah, yeah. I guess I'm surprised they that they didn't get in there. Maybe shape that and okay. and because uh, there's going to be a lot of trucks in and out of there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, lots. I kind of figured maybe they was planning on just you know when they're done they grade the rock up out of the ditch and make the ditch and, and make the road after they're yeah, done. Maybe you know, right now they kind of widened the road a little bit by yeah. by doing that, but. Uh, but overall, uh, down the south part of the county on the Lillis Road and that, uh, guys are telling me the roads, they're really doing a real good job. I, I feel like they are. Yeah, we had to have a little powwow, though, two or three weeks ago, if you remember, Shane. I think everything got better after that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And they're certainly able to, you know, there's issues that anyone has. Uh, you know, I know to Sean with it. you will definitely work with that stuff, so. Yeah, uh, just got to be a sometimes point. push it and make sure they're aware of them, don't Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Shane. You are very welcome. I'll see you probably in the middle of the week. Okay. Sounds good. All right. See ya. Have a great day. Them uh, concrete poles that they're bringing in, are them 100 foot? I think they're 100 foot off the ground, so we're taller than them. There were, there were two or three of them sitting there just more than had a walker yesterday. Yeah. They were off on the east side, pulled over on the north east side of the side. I think it was just... just They've been south of down there by Jackson Heights and going down, but they probably got that road done. And they're probably well, no, done. Wait a minute, maybe I lied. Maybe it was just north of, of Jackson Heights. Yeah. Right See, that's where they... It was right... It was right north of the curve, the yep. big lazy curve. Yep. That's where it was. Yeah, they'll come yeah. down. <clears throat> Mary Kay, do you have anything you need to? Um, one thing is that I know, Brad, you've been in contact with Nancy Gafford about our renewing our neighborhood revitalization plan. Yes. Um, so I uh, was seeing some of those emails go back and forth. And the only thing I can add to that is that I do have like a copy of all the interlocal agreements that were signed five years ago with all the participating entities. I don't think I have it an electronic copy of it, but I could I could retype this um, if we need to do new interlocal agreements as as you and Nancy discussed. And just to bring you gentlemen up, up to speed, I think Nancy and I are in agreement that indeed you simply can extend the previous order. The caveat being, I think it would be best to enter into new interlocal agreements with everybody to reflect that extension. And I don't see anywhere where it would be necessary to jump through all the hoops that we did the first time around with publications and, and everything like that. Okay. For how long, Brad? Extend for... The, the statute does not set any sort of oh time I guess restriction on how long you can keep a program going parameters yeah i think the first time we went five years mm -hmm. yes so i mean that wouldn't be out of the ordinary if we wanted to go five more per se. exactly you could just extend it under the same and this is presumably keep the same terms and conditions, yes. which i believe you would 
Right. But, yeah, he's going to extend it for five years. I can prepare a document allowing that to happen. But and then getting all the entities on board because they could have changed the heart and maybe not go with it. I mean, correct. you know, because they're going, if they go with it, they lose out on that tax revenue too for the 65%. They wouldn't have to go along with that. But we just need to touch base with all of them. Correct. Brad, I think I'm, I may have one kink to add to that plan. And that's the fact that um, there's been a law passed um, recently that stated that any new neighborhood revitalization plans, um, and there's a date um, that we have to have to go back and look at that, that are started before, you know, after a certain date that um, the, the school capital outlay, it, even if the school participates in the neighborhood revitalization plan, the capital outlay is not rebated to the uh, resident that's participating. And so that's my, I know Betty and I have talked about this. That's our only concern about extending this is just so uh, there would be that change, I believe, that we would no longer be able to rebate the So in other words, the schools outlay. would not be participating. Well, we, no, the schools would still participate because they have a general fund. They have a, it would be their capital uh, outlay yeah, fund. they have several funds. It'd just be the capital, capital outlay, outlay fund. Okay. That money is not rebated. That money stays with the school district. It doesn't get rebated to the individual. And I'll take a look at that. They may very well be sort of an internal function of uh, how everything gets to work behind the scenes. Okay. I'm not sure if it's necessary to include that in the agreement itself. I'll take a look at that. If you okay. can a, um, a statute or something. Yeah, like I'm, that would be very I'm, I'm, I'm leery to say the Senate bill because I'm, I'm not, not positive, heard. but I will look, look that up and get that to you. That'd be great. Okay. Okay. Anybody else got anything for Brad? You don't have anything? Um, with the I don't think so. I have one more thing. Brad, that's that. Um, I had a citizen this morning on the phone remind me that our uh, moratorium, I believe, expires later on in May. Correct. Um, so I, I was going to try to look that up and see when the exact date was, but I didn't have a chance to do that this morning. But we'll, May 18th or something, but let me I wanted to say the 13th, but I'm not sure. Okay. But we need to remember that and decide what, what, mm -hmm. what you want to do on that. Okay. I think that's all I have. Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, if anything comes up, Brad, we'll call you. That sounds great. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. See you, so our revitalization plan is still. Um, I will, I will get with Nancy again. I think, I think she's wanting me to take care of um, getting the interlocal agreements out oh. to all the entities because they want to have to have them all resign that, saying whether they want to participate in oh, another five years. You need to be talking to Betty and making sure that we. Ain't so we need to get this thing in place. Uh, and we would want, if anybody comes in, we would hope that she would include them. Mm-hmm. Well, I wonder if we, if, we, if we make it for five years, we're probably not going to do anything for four and a half years. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> if we extend it a year, it'll spur us to do it. Or I, I'd like to think so. If we can make some changes, then I would just well, a little bit more time. Yeah. So I'm good with But now yeah, next time, time we need to get started earlier on the Right. Process. Well, it just. Whenever that may be. <laughs> okay. Is that all you need? Nothing else, then? That's all I have. And then, and then I guess, well, what are our plans for? The next meeting, or I think we. I think we'll leave. We better meet next. We'll meet. plan on meeting Monday. 
with everything going okay. on. I think we've got so I'm just in my minutes. I'm just going to say the next regular schedule meeting. There you go. We'll will call be Monday, up. May fourth. We may have a, so special, we may have a special meeting, and then we I may at the end of this week just a special notice about that. So they got a little bit of a heads up come Monday. So I guess somebody needs to let me know. Yeah. What's going Gary, on? I guess um, once you find out. And you get a final version of that once you decide what you've got yes that may be a friday morning meeting then or something well, like that or friday unless they would they would get that come from the governor right such as it is it's two o'clock what i say so it's going to be a very well you know we don't try well, let's just play the, if, if um, they if they get she get that out Wednesday tomorrow make a or Wednesday, it would make a difference. So yeah. we're gonna leave that open just a little bit. Yeah. And then I think um I'm wondering if I may in the meantime I may ask Brad and if there is something that a resolution that we need to do to be able to start meeting weekly again. Yeah, you might ask I think we could do that at that special meeting. I don't know if we have to make a resolution. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna do. ask him. Or you go after I think asking. if we had to we could do it at that special meeting sure. since this is all this, stuff this about sheriff the gets this, you think, or is he, I think he already gets that. Um, if that's just your copy. Let's do that for me. Just check to make okay, sure we don't do, do anything that. special about yeah. that. Other than that, we're done. I'd and say we're pretty good shape. 1250. 1250. Please. Thank All you. Right. And okay. I will stop the computer. Meeting has adjourned. Well, thank you.